sports show now. Sometimes in sport, as you get these clubs that form and they kind of disband, and every now and then you get a unique club that suddenly explodes, and, yeah. and you want to know the reason why that happens. So I'm talking yeah. about the Ranella Netball Club. So just over three years ago, we had them in here talking about... I remember it well. They were just getting started. Yeah, they were, yeah. One team. Three years later, 54 teams, yeah. 17 senior teams, 37 junior teams, 26 teams in the finals, seven teams with premierships, and they've gone from playing in Sooner to now AMMD, and they're one step away from playing in the Premier League here in the best netball competition in South Australia. It's staggering. It's a staggering rise. I, we were talking off air earlier about I, I couldn't believe when I read the, the stats. Yep. This is the same team that we interviewed in 2019 yep. somewhere. Yep. That were just been there. I don't reckon they had a court. Just, I'm uh, not sure they, they had a place yeah. to play no. when we spoke to them. Well, let's That's find amazing. out. Let's find out. We've got the captain in, uh, Lindell Hudson, and uh, one of their better players, Holly Cheeseman, might join us. Thanks for coming in, ladies. Thanks for having us. Maybe we'll start with the captain. <laughs> I mean, it is an astronomical rise for a club to be able to do that in three years. Well, what do you put that down to? Um, well, yeah, it's a, it's a massive influx, but um, the club prides itself on good values, good culture. And I think when you lead that from the top and it filters down, the girls and even boys, they want to come, they want to play for a club that um, treats their coaches right, treats their players right, um, and is one club as well. Not just teams that we are one club and everyone's proud to be associated with it. So Holly, let me ask you, mm. you, you could have stayed with Jets or other teams that you were playing with in the Premier League. Mm. You chose to go to Ranella. What, what drew you to Ranella? The opportunity at the time was to play with my mates, really. Yep. Um, and then I guess it was also a new club without politics was probably a big thing. So it was a club made by the players for the players. That was the really big thing when they started. And you can kind of see how it's grown for that reason. It, the players are the forefront of everything that we do. It's not about politics. And yes, we want to grow as a club, but it's not at the expense of how we're treating our players or our coaches or those sorts of things, for sure. I find it staggering because it, I, I, I wasn't joking when I said I, if, I, if I was right. It was 2009. That we didn't have, a, we, we were unsure where we were going to play. Yep. We didn't know where we were going to play. We didn't know whether we had a team, uh, but our vision was there. I can remember that conversation vividly. Mm. And I thought, well, you beauty, and they've got, they got some terrific backing. I know it's a good club. Maybe they'll be okay. They'll, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll affiliate yeah. in and everything will be terrific. When I was reading this th this morning, oh, God, no, this can't be the same team. But your junior program is massive. I can't Huge. believe the, the, the size of that. Not only is the seniors have done well, we know that, but the juniors, it's, it's amazing how, how big it is. Yeah, well, it's coming along now. And, and originally we had a lot, we had junior teams, but in a few of the lower grades, the thing is now we've got the, we've got the depth. So our junior teams are playing in top divs. We've just won our first summer junior Div 1 premiership yeah. um, down at City Knights. So um, we're going to field a lot more Div 1 and be competitive, which is something, what, three years ago, it was really mm. a couple of senior teams, a few lower end um, teams, but they're, they're coming in droves. So How do you put it all together? I mean, how do you, where do you train? Where do they all train? Because you can't all train together. There's a no. A million teams. So we now have our courts. Mm. We are now um, affiliated with Renella Sports and Social Club. Yeah. So you've got the down where the football club is, down you've got the tennis club, and down the bottom is some netball courts. They are now solely for Renella Netball Club. Yeah. Mm. So um, a, lot of our, a lot of our junior girls will train there, and the sooner teams will train there. Yeah. Um, us AM and D girls, we train at Priceline Stadium. We're a bit precious, like to train inside. <laughs> yeah. um, so between those courts are pretty much used every Every, every night wow. um, yeah. with various teams training. So we've got our home base now, which was a big tick. Mm. Did this surprise you? Yeah. Holly, yeah. what about you? I Holly, think so, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I don't think it was ever expected to get this big this quick. So you know. who's behind this? Who, who's, the, who's the key player that, that, that's put all this together? Well, look, <laughs> it, it is Tash. Tash it leads really. from the top. It is yeah. Tash, but um, she has got our committee... Um, what they do and how they push it and um, it started with Tash, that was her vision, but so many have jumped on mm. and um, there are a lot of key stakeholders that have really pushed this. Wow. Um, we've got a lot of good sponsors mm. on board now as well, yes. mm. helping us get through, so um, it's just 
it's a really good it's club exciting. to be part of. Yeah, yeah, it is. yeah the future I'd love looks to good. See him in the Premier League. Yeah, and, and not too far away. Maybe a couple of years. Twenty twenty six is that that the targeted year for Premier League? I feel League? like that's the yeah. dream goal. If yeah. we can, yeah. it'd be fantastic. There's a lot of things you've got to do to get there. You've got to have junior one teams, into one teams. Everyone's got to be in your top division in particular age groups. So, you know, we're on our way with that. Like Lyndall said, we had our first Premiership out at, at City Night Division recently. Hey, I look at your team, and obviously I go and watch because Holly's playing, and you're my favourite player, <laughs> we, we know that. Um, but in saying that, the one thing I notice about the group is is how tight the girls are, yep. and there's a really mm. good camaraderie. It's not like you go, OK, well, you're kind of playing in AMD, and they've got some girls that could clearly play Premier League, and clubs have obviously spoken to them, but the girls won't go. Yep. It, it, it's a unique environment isn't it yes yeah. yeah I've played and Hollywood have played mm. in lots of different teams lots of different levels but I don't think I've ever played in a team where we are such a uniformed group um, and that's why we keep coming back year after year I keep saying my time is at the end but I yeah. every year I, I get I, I <laughs> come back, back because yeah. you know I love these girls I love playing with them um, and I love being part of the club. Mm. Yeah, it shows in the way you play. I, I'm interested in this part, um, Holly, I'll, I'll ask you this one, that you girls all go back and get involved with the juniors. You know at some clubs the players were kind of a bit too good or we're too yeah. busy, and, and it's fair enough, they've all got families and other lives, but at this club, all the senior players all go back on different occasions and get involved with the juniors. You know, they have mm. weekends where you're doing it. Mm. What draws you to do that? Well, I think it something maybe that we possibly didn't have you know growing up and playing is that you didn't always see your senior players coming out so to have a camp like the kids recently did is phenomenal it was something an opportunity we never had yeah. growing up and what they got was fantastic you know to go away for a few nights on a netball based camp was phenomenal so why wouldn't we want to give back to that community as well i think they're just yeah it, it's it's part yeah. of um the culture i think yeah. of the club is is you only get back what you put in really how old are you talking uh, on the camp with the girls? How, uh, how they were under girls? 11s and under 13s. Oh, wow. And that was 100 plus yeah. girls. <laughs> 100. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Again, it's just the numbers that stagger me. You know, Ronella used That's to be right. seen as yeah. it's way over there, yep. like way over the hills, and you don't go there. And suddenly there's this, uh, probably other than Mount Barker, they're the two massive growth areas, and you go. Mm. You guys are actually in this phase with the right direction where you're actually dominating netball in a space that some clubs have taken 20, 30 years yep. to get to. Yeah, that, that's the part that's I right. find staggering. Yeah. Yeah. And you go, you can see it's infectious with you guys. It feeds through the whole club. Do you think it can get away from you or you think the club is so well entrenched now that it'll always have that vibe about it? Um, I'd, Tash runs a pretty tight pretty ship. ship. So, yeah. um, and that's half your battle. So if you let things get away, then... You, you can lose it, but um, I feel like so far it, everything's been yeah. kept in check, so I don't see that changing. Um, so hopefully we'll continue to grow, but we'll still live by those same values and culture that we created the club on. Yeah, and you need some good people. I mean, Tash has obviously done a fantastic job, but for, for the size of the club now, mm. there's got to be more people involved. Yeah. There's got to be a lot more people outside players, of course coaches and, and whatever, yeah. the growth, I, I just... Often it's hard to find Often hard to find the number of coaches that mm. you need. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't seem to be a problem for the coach. No, co I think yeah, that's... Yeah, I don't think you know, really male or female, issues with it. I know yeah. you guys got a couple of male coaches yep. at your Absolutely. team. And, you yeah. know, I watch other clubs and they struggle to get, struggle to get a coach. Yeah, so correct. Again, it's part of the ethos of the club that people have gravitated to it. Sponsors are always hard to get in, yep. in all sports, and especially yeah. when you're in, in the sports trying to achieve somewhere. We know Air Diffusion Agencies yep. is a great sponsor of you guys, and you touched on that you've got other sponsors. Are you finding sponsors are starting to get drawn to the club as well now? Yeah, definitely, especially mm. local ones as well. So, um, you know, a few of these the sponsors, back, yeah. they're on the back, <laughs> um, are local local people, Ronella people. So um, they give to us and then as a result we give back to them. So there are a lot more mm. coming on board and each team can also have an individual sponsor. So you'll start finding a lot of jackets with individual sponsors on the back because a lot of parents want to get involved, local businesses. So um, it's we'll always take more, but <laughs> yeah. So 2026 is the goal, to be in, in Premier League. Uh, you think the way you're tracking at the moment, that's, that's well within the reach? 
I think it's definitely with the with the depth that we have in our junior grades, yeah. without a doubt, there's a lot of talent coming through. So it probably won't be Lyndall and I yeah, necessarily. I'll be, I'll be we'll out. get you there, <laughs> and then that'll be yeah. about it. We'll get them there. But um, I think it is really with with the players that we've got and the way that the committee functions. I can't see how we can't get there with with the track that we're on. Yeah, yeah definitely. See, see that just that comment there amazes me about the whole club and the vibe of we'll get you there and then you take over. Normally yeah. at clubs you hear the players go, I'm holding on, don't want that young kid to come through you and I'm holding on. No, this, club, no, this, no. Yeah, this club's very much about let's get those young kids through yeah. and we'll support them, we'll, we'll stay here until it's time to move on. It's just, it just seems like such a unique environment that you guys have created. Yeah. Well, I think so, and I don't think we're alone in that. I think there's, no, all the girls. you know, we want yeah. we want the young ones to come up. We want them to thrive. We want them to be the next face of the club. Yeah, and of course, part of the criteria of getting into Premier League is junior programs. You correct. must have yeah. good, strong, strong junior yep. programs, and you guys have ticked that box clearly yeah. with the amount of juniors you've got running around. I, I didn't know there was that many juniors in Ranella. <laughs> 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 I, I, I go past there. All, I'm the yeah. best hot chocolate in SA. Ranella, Ranella on the run. <laughs> oh, I'll keep an eye out. Are they a sponsor? Are they a sponsor? Well, they need to jump on. Hey, girls, it is just fantastic for you to give us time. And in three years' time, it'd be great if you two are sitting here and we can go, well done, Premier League. Uh, you're still playing. Who's moved in? Yeah. Tell us about the club. So, Ranella Netball Club, done an amazing job yeah, in three roof. years. Well done to the club. Well done to Bill at Air Diffusion Agencies, to Tash and all the people down there. It has been phenomenal. Stay with us. Still plenty to come.